This is the Neptune 3 Max from Elegoo. It's the largest 3D printer from the Neptune 3 series and it combines the best features and has a massive print volume. With it you can really produce huge objects. The Neptune 3 Max has everything I want in a good desktop FDM 3D printer right now. A direct drive extruder and a lightweight print head, a leveling sensor for automatic print bed leveling, a double Z axis with a stable design, a filament sensor, a print bed coated with PEE, an intuitive menu and it has even more useful features that further increase its user friendliness. This makes it also ideal for beginners who want to start directly with a large print volume. In contrast to the huge print volume and the large print bed, the print head with the direct drive extruder looks tiny. The small print head with a lightweight direct drive extruder has a low weight which enables it to achieve high printing speeds. Disturbing vibrations that can cause printing errors such as ghosting or ringing therefore only occur at higher print speeds. Another big advantage of the direct drive extruder is the possibility to process flexible filaments as well. Since the distance between the extruder and the nozzle is minimal, the extrusion accuracy is much higher than with a Bowden extruder. The flexible filament cannot twist on the short path or compensate the movements of the extruder by its flexibility. A sensor for automatic print bed leveling is also installed in the print head. The menu allows you to start leveling at 63 points on the print bed at the touch of a button. Although you have to manually level the print bed once after assembly to compensate for significant tilts, after that you only need to automatically re-level the print bed after several prints. To realize the gigantic print volume, the Neptune 3 Max has also a gigantic print bed. It consists of a flexible and magnetic spring steel that is mounted on the magnetic plate. This allows you to remove it after printing, bend it and thus release the finished object easily. It also has a PEI coating that provides excellent adhesion for most filaments. As long as you follow the necessary steps for good print bed adhesion, you won't need to use tools like rafts or adhesives. To ensure that the print head can be positioned accurately over the entire print volume, even at high print speeds, the design must also be as stable as possible. To achieve this, the Neptune 3 Max has a double Z axis synchronized with the tooth belts and diagonal struts, which stabilize the frame and support it at the base. What I really like about the Neptune 3 Max and the rest of the series is the removable touchscreen. Especially with such a large 3D printer, it is very convenient to be able to hold the menu in your hands. The menu is very intuitive and you can find every setting with just a few clicks. And there are predefined temperature settings for various filaments. A feature that has become a must-have for new 3D printers are belt tensioners for the X and Y axis. This allows you to tension the belt within seconds. Especially after transport and assembly, it is usually necessary to check and adjust the tension. If you want to look at the object during printing, an LED bar is integrated at the upper end of the frame. You can switch it on and off via the touchscreen during printing. I was also surprised by the low noise level during printing. Although I was used to this low noise level from the other 3D printers in the Neptune 3 series, a volume averaging below 40 decibels is still very nice. The Neptune 3 Max is so big that it blocks a large part of my workbench. That's why it's even more convenient that it has a tool drawer in its base. Here you can store the tools and spare parts and keep the 3D printer environment organized. I have already realized many projects with the Neptune 3 Max, but I wanted to show you the biggest of them. A huge TIE fighter which consists of a total of about 2 kg of filament. After testing the maximum print size on the biggest part, I directly printed the most difficult component. The black radiators of the wing consists only of infill, so no walls, top or bottom layers. But as you can see, the print bed adhesion is absolutely perfect and every single line sticks to the print bed. The rest of the parts were all no problem either. In total, it took about 80 hours to print all the parts with a layer thickness of 0.3 mm. I am absolutely satisfied with the quality, especially considering that every part worked the first time. I have printed over 500 hours with the Neptune 3 Max and I can't find any drawbacks. It just works and prints reliable and fast. If you are interested in this 3D printer, you can find a link to my review on my website and directed to Elegoo. I wish you as much fun in 3D printing as I had with this 3D printer and I am looking forward to seeing you in my next video.